Yay, it's Friday night, finally, right? Was it that kind of week for you guys too? Woo, man. New year can be kind of brutal sometimes. The holidays are definitely over. Well, maybe some of you have Monday off. Who has Monday off? Let us know in the chat. Welcome everyone, we are here tonight to answer all of your burning cruise questions. We can talk about tipping, we can talk about back-to-back -back cruises. I saw that one come in. We can talk about packing, we can talk about packing carry-on only. Anything you'd like, type away. We're gonna do our best to answer those questions in about 30 minutes. Then it's off to get our Friday night pizza. So tonight's episode is sponsored by cruiseline.com where you can find reviews, tips, and photos from real everyday cruisers. For those of you who aren't familiar with cruiseline.com, it is an awesome website for planning your cruise. Now, once you've booked your cruise, you wanna download the Shipmate app and find me, Cruise Tips TV, all one word, no spaces, no dashes, no underscores, and our 3,000 friends over on Shipmate app. It's a great place to check out your roll call, look at photos of your ship, add a little countdown timer to your phone. Super fun, you've gotta check it out. So how's everybody doing? Where are you cruising next? We'd love to hear. Maybe uh, Aunt, get some questions typed in there first before you tell us where we're cruising, or Mr. Cruise Tips TV is gonna have like this barrage of live stream text. Hi, Elisa, welcome, it's your first time here. We love our first timers. If you're a newbie, welcome to Cruise Tips TV, welcome to the family. This is a very supportive and friendly place where we talk about creating our best cruises, right? Like it's all about your attitude, your mindset, the research you put into it, and the effort that you put into it once you're on that cruise. We are all about positivity here and helping each other out, one big, wonderful, happy family. So to those of you who are new, welcome. We would love it if you would hit the like button before you go and also subscribe to our channel. You wanna stick around to see all of our fun, travel videos. Speaking of which, we just released our second day vlog from our Royal Princess cruise, where we got to ride camels in Cabo San Lucas, have a wonderful dinner at a ranch, and do a little tequila tasting. So make sure you check that one out on our channel, Cruise Tips TV. All right, let's answer some questions here. Jeannie <clears throat> Schneider was weighing in saying her friends want to go carry on only, and she's scared. Jeannie, you've totally got this. It's all about the pre-planning. It's all about just laying things out early and then about a few days before your cruise, pulling some things out that you know you don't need. You could always strategically plan to do laundry and minimize your shoes. You got this. All right, Taurus Family Adventures are going to St. Martin, San Juan, and Coco Key. How exciting. Ethan said, I loved your Amazon store. Got some goodies from there with your help. Thank you for sending me the link. Thank you so much, Ethan, and thank you for your support. For those of you who aren't aware, we do have a store on Amazon. It's amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash cruise tips TV, and we have all the cruise necessities you could need in there. Everything from magnets to hang on your stateroom walls to hand sanitizing wipes. We have purses, we have all kinds of little gadgets that you can use. We have camera gear, you name it, it is there, and it's a fun place to shop. Okay, let's answer some questions here. Tupper Sam K said, on the Panama Canal partial transit, is, transit, is it loud or peaceful transversing? Tupper Sam, you know how sometimes we talk about Alaska and how calm and peaceful it is? It's a lot like that for the most part. You're gonna hear a little bit of sound of some machinery off on the sides on occasion, but the opening and closing of the locks is a very peaceful and, and calm process. For the most part, it's quite calm. When you get to the end of the locks, there may be some people cheering you on. So there might be some people standing there and cheering for you, which is always a really incredible and kind of a visceral experience, I think, when you're on a cruise. When you're on this big, beautiful ship and you see people kind of dwarfed on the sidelines there. So I'd say it's pretty quiet. Do you remember the Panama Canal Transit being pretty super quiet, Mr. Cruise Tips TV? There's a little bit of noise from just, you know, the little um, trucks or trolleys that pull you along if you're on the old locks, but in the new locks, it's a lot quieter. All right, Angie Hansel said, how do I book a back-to-back? -back? Angie, we always do recommend that you work with a travel agent. That's gonna be the best way for you to book a back-to-back -back is to make sure that that travel agent has your back. We have a partner travel agency that we work with, Montebello Travel, and I'm gonna go ahead 
and pop that in there. They are a dream vacations franchise and they book our personal travel and do a wonderful job. So work with your TA. They're going to help you out with that. They can ensure that you try to get the same cabin um, on both legs of the voyage, but it can absolutely reduce your stress to do it that way. All right. Dana Dawkins says, when is the best time to book excursions? How, how far in advance? Dana, it really depends on where you're traveling. If you're going somewhere like Alaska and you're planning on booking some of those excursions that sell out quickly, popular things like helicopters, dog sleds, and flight seeing, you're going to want to book those early. Otherwise, you're probably okay to do it you know, anywhere from two weeks out to maybe two months out. It's really just up to you when you want to spend the money, but do some research. Make sure that you have a good cancellation policy with your, in, uh, your excursion provider, especially if you're booking outside the cruise line. You want to make sure that you can cancel with no penalty and um, you'll be just fine. You can also send me a direct message over on Facebook if you need any help. Just follow Facebook uh, Cruise Tips TV. It's a page. It has my face on it. <clears throat> and we are always happy to help you personally and directly over there. Gina Recchia said, in Europe, do you guys take a taxi from the airport to the hotel or do you book a prepaid driving service? It depends on where you are, Gina, but if you're doing like an airport transfer, it's a good idea to book them in advance, especially in places like Rome where there's a lot of taxi scams. So probably a prepaid service in a lot of cases. Margaret Hobbs said, how, how far in advance do I have to book excursions in Alaska? Our payment is due the end of February. Is that too long to wait? No, I think you're okay, Margaret, unless, again, like I mentioned with Alaska a little earlier, unless it's something that's really impacted and that will book up. Helicopter tours and flight seeing will sell out. So if that's something that you want to do, book it now. If not, I think you're okay to wait until February for most things. But you can always put a deposit down on something and change your mind later. All right. Marlena said, I'm reading some places are saying no sunscreen. Sunscreen would reef safe be okay even with a rash guard. Uh, yeah, I know. Right. You do. Yes. Take reef safe um, sunscreen. I'm finding too that a lot of times people will just put that on their website and then they'll never say anything when you get there. We found that a lot in Mexico that they're really, really stringent on their websites, but then they don't enforce it. Of course, still take reef safe sunscreen, but a lot of times they're just trying to sell you their sunscreen. I hate to be cynical, but it's true. Jessica Naccio said, it's afternoon tea every day on carnival ships or only sea days. You know what, Jessica? I think on carnival, it's only on select days. I don't necessarily think they have it every day. Um, it, there might be some variants. If anybody knows the answer to that question, please let us know. Rhiannon Dixon says, I'm, I'm from Australia and heading to Harmony of the Seas on my honeymoon. Any tips on what to pack? Yay, Rhiannon, that is awesome. Okay, since you're going to be coming out in January or February, Rhiannon, remember that Florida can be a little tiny bit cool at that time of year. I'm not talking about like 30 or 40 degrees during the day. Sorry, that was Fahrenheit. I know you're from Australia, but you'll figure it out. Um, but I would pack maybe a sweater, a hoodie, some jeans, something that can keep you warm on the, the days going on and off the ship. Sometimes Florida does experience some cold fronts during that time, but other than that, for Harmony of the Seas, you're looking at resort wear, a couple of um, nice gowns, and maybe a suit for your traveling companion um, for formal evenings, but otherwise resort wear and things like that will be just fine. Rebecca Scott said, what is the best value cruise line to go to Northern Europe, England, France, and Italy? The best value probably, Rebecca, is going to be with MSC, but deals can be had on any cruise line if you look closely, but MSC really tends to do a good job with that. Kaylee Rarovich said, hi, do you have any tips for going on the Norwegian Bliss in February? Yes, Kaylee, I have two tips for you. Number one, Go on the go-karts. They are fantastic. The go-kart track is a wonderful experience. Reserve it early. And two, definitely, I don't know why I held up three fingers for two, but two, definitely try the specialty dining on board. There's so many good choices and it's really quite good. Those would be my, my uh, suggestions for you for Bliss. Beautiful ship. Gina Reeves said, do you trust booking excursions online and not through the ship? Gina, that's a great question and we get that question a lot. Yes, we do. There are a certain set of rules that we want you to follow though, Gina, okay? And so here they are. I'm gonna to try to do this as quickly as I can. Number one, the excursion provider should have some decent reviews online, right? So go look at a place like TripAdvisor and make sure that they're well reputed and read about them. Number two, they should absolutely have a cancellation policy if 
for any reason your ship does not port or dock that day or anchor offshore, there should be no penalty for cancellation. Number three, you need to make sure that that excursion does not push up against the all aboard time too much. So when you're booking on your own, we recommend that you get back about two hours early. Number three, you should get something for. Boy, you guys, my numbers tonight. Woo, it's been a long week. Just get something in writing from them. Make sure that you have some kind of a confirmation in writing of your excursion time, your meeting place, the price, how payment is to be collected. You should be just fine. If you'd like more information on this, we've made several videos about booking excursions. And we tell you really clearly what to look for when you're booking your own excursion. So just go to the videos tab on our channel and type in self book excursions or excursions and those videos will pop up. I'm also noticing, I think we have a lot of newbies here in the chat tonight. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We have created a masterclass for those of you who are new. It is only $29 and it is a wonderful resource for newer cruisers. It's a series of videos that are sort of a start to finish way to select, book, and execute a wonderful cruise. And there's packing checklists and all kinds of great stuff in there. So what you wanna do is go to cruisetipstv.com and click on tutorials. You can use the code all aboard for $5 off the masterclass. So newbies, all of our senior folks, our students and our coaches will tell you who are here in the chat, the masterclass is great. It's less than a set of packing cubes, and it is a wonderful way to get a nice sequential education on cruising in under a few hours, and everybody loves the printables. Okay, Alan Crum said, from your videos, it seems like you all love Cabo. Have you ever gone to any of the other Madano Beach places? Yeah, Alan, we have. So you've probably seen us go to Billigan's a lot on Madano Beach, but we've also been to the office and Mango Deck. Billigan's is still our favorite. The other two are a little more pricey and a little more commercial, um, but I went to the office on a land vacation and it was fun. Mango Deck is a little bit too much of a party atmosphere for me, but it's still really fun. Elizabeth Taylor said, how do you pack carry-on for an Alaska cruise in July? I don't know, and I'm really scared that someday I'm going to have to prove to you that that can be done. Mr. Cruise Tips TV is like, Psh, compression bags. He'd be like, just we're just going to use compression bags. We got this, and he's not like me where he needs like 17 pairs of shoes. I don't, I really take like three pairs of shoes, but I think it's gonna be a challenge when I have to do it, Elizabeth, but it can be done. Um, so yeah, I think what I would probably do is I would focus on two strategies. One, do laundry on the ship. Number two, put your jackets and anything else that's uber super puffy in, um, the deflatable compression packing bags that look like giant Ziploc bags. And I think you can do it. I don't want to do it ever, to be honest, and I never really have, but <laughs> I probably will try. Is someone saying it's blurry, Mr. Cruise Tips TV? I'm sorry. Someone said that it was a little blurry in there. The, the, the camera got blurry. Are we looking okay on your side? No, it's just one person. Oh, okay, good. Okay, sounds good. Kate Shields said, what do you get with Faster to the Fun? Excellent question. Kate Shields, what you get with Faster to the Fun, which is Carnival's way of getting, letting you buy a little bit of loyalty. You get onto the ship early, not earlier than the um, Platinum and Elite passengers, but after those passengers, you get onto your ship early. Your luggage will be waiting for you in the stateroom. You get priority embarkation, disembarkation, so you get off the ship early as well. And you also have a priority line at guest services and you have priority tendering. Did I miss anything, guys? Let me know if I miss anything. Sarah Hecht said, going on Harmony in two weeks for my honeymoon. Any tips to make it special? You guys, so many people going on Harmony of the Seas. Sarah, yes, I have a tip for you to make it special. Dine at Wonderland. If you're not too exhausted, do it on your first night. It's a beautiful way to kick off the cruise. It is so wonderful. And the specialty dining package, if they have it for like $99 for three nights per person, it's very much worth it, Sarah. Get a three night dining package, explore, enjoy, go to Jamie's Italian, try chops. 150 Central Park was great too. Wonderland is great. Do the dining. It's so fun. Um, Deborah Blankenship said, I'm going on the Rebel Princess. Well, we have a new ship in town. The Rebel Princess. Deborah, do you mean the Royal or the Regal? I'm thinking I'm, 
I'm guessing that you mean the regal. But the rebel princess sounds fun to me. Let's go. Um, can you dress casual at breakfast in the main dining room? Yeah, Deborah, you totally can. Shorts are fine. Um, just no swimwear that's not covered up, no cut off shorts, nothing crazy. I'm sure you're fine. Stephanie Ben Dixon said, what is the cheapest or best way to check in with people at home while on a cruise? We're leaving the kids behind this time. Stephanie, buy the internet package and use Facebook calling. So use your call through Facebook, the little phone icon that's in Facebook. That is the cheapest way to do it. All right, Mr. Cruise Tips TV, I'm ready for the question after Stephanie's. Whenever you are ready. Do we have a pretty full house tonight, guys? How are we doing? How many people do we have in the room? Oh my goodness, my internet's killing me. All right. Oh, Scott Rowley said, when is your outfit of the day vlog coming? Scott, I didn't do one for the Mexican Riviera cruise. We were just too busy on that one. But I hope that you enjoyed the outfit of the day video from Harmony of the Seas. I have to be honest, I wore a lot of the same stuff. Um, wait, no, I'm sorry. That's not true at all. I reversed it. Flip-flop, flip-flop that. I did not do an outfit of the day video on Harmony of the Seas. We already, Scott, published our outfit of the day video for Royal Princess. I'm so sorry, I mixed them up. Harmony of the Seas, we were like crazy running around. Royal Princess, video's already out. Um, go to our channel. It's the one where I'm holding up my arm like this out to the side and it says outfit of the day on it. You'll find it, Scott. Um, Marie Getting said, getting ready to go on a cruise on the 26th. I'm so excited. What's your favorite thing to do on Grand Cayman Island? We love swimming with stingrays, but there's also so much more to do. I think a Jeep tour could be really fun, but those are a couple ideas. Amber Reader said, going on Regal Princess in March, going to St. Thomas, St. Martin, Princess Keys. What should we do? Best excursions. Amber, we were supposed to go to St. Thomas and St. Martin um, back in September, but due to a tropical depression, those ports got like completely canceled for us. But here's what we were going to do, Amber. In St. Thomas, we were gonna go to Megan's Bay or I think it was like Koki Beach or Sapphire Beach. We were just gonna take a cab to a beach for the day. And in St. Martin, we were gonna book a little tour to a couple beaches with a company called Bernard's Tour. I just, I think I lost your other one, but I think you said Princess Keys. In Princess Keys, I would rent a clamshell or a cabana for the day. Don't do an excursion, just rest and enjoy. IPO Hubbard said, never been on a cruise. Do you suggest cruising with the teen kids or just the two of us to get the feel of it? It's up to you. I say take the kids. If you're gonna take the kids, maybe you try Royal Caribbean or Norwegian first and then maybe do a romantic one later. Amy DeSanto is here from Japan. Hi, Amy. Isabel Sweet said, I really wanna know what it's like ordering a drink with a medallion. Was it easy? Do, you, do they find you okay? Yeah, Isabel, great question. Isabel, let's chat about this offline too because I could talk about it for a really long time. So I'm gonna give you the short version. If you are in a place where they are supposed to send the medallion, the drinks, because not every single corner of the ship is enabled that way, it's pretty painless, especially if your drink is simple. Um, if you're having it sent to your stateroom, it's really easy. So you literally pull up the app, you go to Ocean Now, you select your drink, you can modify it if you need to, you agree to the charge, and then you wait. There's a little icon that comes up on it that tells you how long it's gonna be until it gets to you. It's not like minutes, it says, I'm preparing it or I'm delivering it. So you kind of know. Um, there are certain areas that are like blackout areas where the medallion doesn't work very well to order drinks, but they tell you that and the software tells you that. So just make sure you do it in places where they can understand. I had a really funny thing happen when I ordered one in the atrium. I actually had a bartender come over to me and he's like, hey, just got your order. Do you want, you're ordering a gimlet. Do you want a gin gimlet or a vodka gimlet? And so I had to clarify with it, but it was really funny because he was like in person and then he went and made it. So it's really fun. It's cool. It's kind of a novelty. Like you could just easily go up to a bar. The bars on Princess aren't crowded, right? I mean, it's totally just a luxury, but it is fun. Estella Chavez said, I'm going on my first Princess cruise in April 2020. Would appreciate any tips on this cruise line. Oh my gosh, Estella. We made a video called Princess Cruises Tips and Tricks. And at least we have actually three of those videos. I want you to search for them on our channel. But I'll tell you a couple of things that you should know about Princess. Um, Princess is a wonderful traditional cruise line where you're going to enjoy all of those wonderful things that are, you know, elegant and relaxed and very service oriented. The recommendations that I always give people for Princess are enjoy the main dining room. They have wonderful food in the main dining room. Get all three courses, go to town. 
and go to afternoon tea. There is an upcharge tea and a regular tea. Just go to the regular one and if you love it, try the splurge and do the upcharge later, but book it early. Also for Princess, oh my gosh, that's so hard because there's just so many things that we have to say about Princess, but give it a try, go and enjoy. Don't over schedule yourself, go to the sail away party, sit in the hot tubs, just enjoy yourself. Angela Jones said, is it best to book your next cruise while on the ship? And if so, can you switch to a TA? Angela, a lot of times it is. With cruise lines like Princess, it definitely is because you can do a booking on board, you get an onboard credit and a reduced deposit, and you can transfer it to your agent. So usually it's worth it. All right. Ethan O'Neill said, uh, Cruise Tips TV, how much should I tip my room steward? Well, you're automatically tipping them already with the gratuities that are added to your stateroom, Ethan. But if they do a killer job, it's totally personal. It's really up to you. A lot of times we'll give them an extra 20 bucks for the week. I've done more. I've done 40 and I've done less. Um, so it's kind of up to you. Gina Recchia said, if you purchase a laundry package on the ship, do they follow the washing directions on the clothes? If a piece says hang dry, I'm terrified it can end up in the dryer. Yeah. No, they don't, Gina. They wash it and they dry it. So it's either for you, it's either dry clean or wash and dry. Um, so you probably want to just keep that in mind. Isabel said, is it is faster to the fun sold in limited numbers? Yes. Yeah. Totally limited capacity, Isabel. But they don't really say how many. Like you don't get to, you don't get to know that information. You just know when it's gone. <laughs> Vanessa Ingram said, we're going to Aruba, tips for beaches to visit. I don't know, Vanessa. Vanessa, hopefully somebody else can let you know. Shorty12341 uh, said, any tips for Singapore? Going B2B and have four days there combined. How wonderful. We didn't get an extended period of time there, but um, definitely plan. Oh my goodness, I'm so struggling to remember the name of the big hotel with the, um, with the cool sort of garden and pool on the top of it, but definitely go to that the, that hotel. You'll know exactly what I'm talking about when you start researching it. On the day that you leave, if you have some airport time, spend at least four hours in the airport. It's phenomenal. Anybody else have Singapore tips? Leave them for shorty. IPO Hubbard said, I've noticed you've taken a lot off Princess Cruises. What do you think of Holland America? Holland America is wonderful and very similar to Princess. It's just geography, why we haven't cruised with them, and we're building a lot of loyalty with Princess um, or Platinum on Princess, so those are nice perks for us, but we love Holland America. Very good product, very good food, excellent service, beautiful ships, similar, similar. Carol Vosberg said, would you recommend Sabatini's or the Crown Grill on Royal Princess? If forced to choose, Carol, if forced to choose, I'm a crown girl, crown grill girl, but um, we went to both on Royal and they were both phenomenal, but I like some good filet mignon. Marlena Bauer said, any drink videos from Harmony coming up? Why, interesting you might say that, Marlena. We are working on a bar tour for Harmony of the Seas with a few drinks sprinkled in, a few of my faves, so kind of, yeah. Candace Barbie said, where's the new shiplap background? Candace, good question. It's over there in the other set. Um, for those of you who are um, following as our supporters on Facebook, which is a way to support our channel for $5 a month on Facebook, we made a little video about the new set that we're building over here. So it's kind of our backstage crew over there. And that's gonna be for last minute live streams where I can sit down without Mr. Cruise Tips TV's help and I can plug in with fewer lights and gadgets because the area that we're in right now is very high tech and we need something more low tech so we can go live more often. Kelly Haston said, I love that shirt you have on. Thank you, Kelly. I got it at Target for under $20. I'm a total bargain shopper and I like it too. It's really soft and cottony. And even though it's really cold in California right now, I wanna to try to feel like I'm on in resort mode. Elisa Velez says, best excursions for Cozumel. Elisa, our favorite place to go in Cozumel is Nachi Cocom. It is a beach club. I can tell you that there's people in the chat right now who have recently been, and they absolutely loved it as well. It's not just me. It's a little oasis. There's other beach clubs that are super fun too, like Mr. Sancho's, Playa Mia, Paradise Beach. Lots of choices there for you. So you're going to love it. Angela Byer, going on first cruise ever, Oasis of the Seas. Any tips to help get through the wait? Angela, hang out with us. That's my tip for you. But no, I think there's there's a lot of things that you can do. Do some research on excursions, daydream about it, right? Um, I would say start thinking about what you want to pack on the cruise. Get into good shape so you can climb those stairs and feel good on your cruise. That's something we always try to do is get into cruise shape, right? But hang out with us, Angela. We'll keep you happy. And you can keep us happy in between cruises too. 
Tardis said, I'm back after a long hiatus. Here's help. Hey, good to see you, pal. I missed ya. Um, Jennifer Hafer said, hi, Sherry. NCL Encore in July to Bermuda. Have you done the introduction to scuba? Would you try that or is snorkeling better? Should we buy your own scuba gear to bring? Okay, Jennifer, if you're doing an intro to scuba class in Bermuda, don't buy your own scuba gear. Just use what they have for this one. Um, highly recommend intro to scuba classes in the Caribbean, Bermuda, or on a cruise because it's a wonderful thing to do. It will take up a lot of your time. I have done many resort dives in my life. We don't dive anymore. Um, we had a really scary experience with a dive in Cabo um, where um, I thought Mr. Cruise Tips TV sank to the bottom of the ocean. He really didn't, but he noticed that he was taking in air very quickly. His gauge um, indicated to him that he was going through air very quickly. Um, I thought he was gone and I was freaking out underwater. Our guide went and found him, but I'm just done and he, we're both just done. So we're not going to dive anymore. You know how when you have a trauma, you're like, okay, let's move on. So used to love it. I would do, I would do a personally a shallow water dive, um, in a, in the Caribbean where there's no wall, but I will never, ever dive again on a wall. I'm just too terrified of the depths. And so, uh, but I, I highly recommend scuba to me. It's actually a little bit, in general, if you're in visible, highly visible water, it's actually a little bit less scary than um, snorkeling because the current doesn't move you as much. Ange is here. Ange said seven months until our first carnival cruise. Any tips on carnival magic? I haven't been on that ship, Ange, but I've heard it's great. Get a guy's burger on day one if you can. Book the steakhouse. Those are my tips. All right. BC, ordering drinks on Medallion app. If you have a beverage package, are you still charged for the order? I don't think so. I think you can order them on the app if you have a beverage package. Ooh, I didn't try that because I didn't have a beverage package, but I think so. Good question to ask. Call the Medallion team. They have an 800 number you can call and ask them. Casey said, I'm a gold member for Carnival, but nervous to take my two-year-old on his first cruise. Thoughts, tips. Casey501, we took um, Junior Editor on his first cruise when he was one. It was for his first birthday. Um, between one and three is a magical time to cruise with a little baby, a little child. It's very contained. It feels so much safer than a land vacation. It's wonderful. It's safe. Please do not worry. This is a great choice for you. Let your child experience new food at two on the cruise. This could be a really big deal for your family. Um, our son, I think one of the reasons he's not a picky eater and he eats like a grown up is that he's always been exposed to a lot of different types of foods and he could just try different things at home and on cruises. That's one of the tips that I like to give to people. Our son actually potty trained on a cruise. What? How did that happen? He was three and he potty trained with grandma. And we're like, okay, I guess he's not wearing his little diaties anymore. <laughs> but do pack lots of diapers for your two-year-old, um, but just enjoy the fact that they're gonna meet new people, they're gonna talk to people, and they're gonna interact. It's a wonderful age to cruise, do it. Mike St. Germain said, so much fun here at Cruise Tips TV. Thanks for the advice. You got any free cruises out there? LOL. Mike, if we had some free cruises, we'd either be giving them away or we'd be on them ourselves. But right now, sir, we are buckling down, working hard through the first quarter. This is my crunch time at my day job. It is a very challenging time of year for me. Um, it's very busy. It's very stressful. It's great. I love it, but I hear you, man. We are all just working hard right now and saving for the fun. Alan Kutchel said, have you done two cruises back to back on the same ship? Do you have to pack up if you're in the same room? Alan, no, we've never done it, but the answer is also no, you don't have to pack up if you're in the same room. You definitely stay, but you do have to go off the ship, go through customs and come back on. Serena Lipscomb said, do the studio rooms on Norwegian Bliss have refrigerators? I don't remember, Serena, but I do have a studio tour, a video tour on our channel, so just type Bliss Studio, and if there's a fridge in there, it'll be in the tour. I'm sorry, I don't remember. Um, Jennifer Wyckoff said, anyone know what airline you get when NCL offers a free flight? It varies, Jennifer. It's not just one airline, and they pick it for you, so... Kate Shields said, is there anything I need to know about Carnival Splendor? Oh, Carnival Splendor is a really fun ship. Kate, I'm going to say it again with the steakhouse on that one. you got to go to the steakhouse. Is it Nick and Nora's on Splendor, honey, or is that Miracle? I don't know what it's called, but definitely do it. Um, Splendor is a very unique ship. It is not like a lot of the other builds. It's really interesting. They have a great pool. It's a ton of fun. They have a great serenity area. 
All right, Carol Vosberg said, do you think you'll see bears on the boardwalk in Ketchikan in June? No, I don't. I don't think you'll see bears right there in town. It's pretty rare. If you go out to the totem park, you might see a few in the road, but um, you probably need to go in search of them on an excursion of some sort. Gina Reeves said, we're going to Nassau, but heard it's boring. Any tips on what to do? It's your 25th anniversary trip and you want to make the most of it. Gina, there's a lot to do in Nassau in the way of excursions. A lot of people will go and spend the day at um, the Blue Lagoon, which is a fun excursion. Um, other people have um, done what we do and they go to Atlantis. We did the water park once. We just walked around once. There's so many things to do. Let's help her out, guys. What are some fun things to do in the Bahamas for celebrating a 25th anniversary? Danielle Eret said, best hotel for Port Canaveral Cruise. For Port Canaveral, my recommendation for you is to get in touch with goport.com. Um, they hosted us on our trip out to Port Canaveral, and we were incredibly impressed with the way the process works, where you get transportation from the airport to the hotel, hotel to the cruise ship, and the cruise ship back to the airport. They have hotels to choose from in Orlando, if you want to be in Orlando, or down in like Cocoa Beach and that general area. So go check out their website. Melissa Bartell said, our first cruise is a seven-night charter on Explorer of the Seas starting 3-1, the Star Trek, Star Trek cruise. But if we like the shipboard experience, we'll do more. What is a good normal cruise to start with? Well, Melissa, you're certainly not starting with a normal cruise by going on the Star Trek cruise. After that, anything is going to seem normal. I think what I would try, if you like that, is try one of Royal Caribbean's larger ships. If you end up liking Royal Caribbean, try Harmony of the Seas, um, Symphony, Oasis class ships, give that a try. Or if you want something more mellow, if you want to go with something a little bit more tranquil, um, you try Princess or Holland America. Laura Stigner said, tips for little guys, six-year-old on long-haul trips to Asia for a cruise. Yeah. Laura, um, download a bunch of stuff for them to watch on the plane in case they don't like the entertainment. Definitely take snacks and water with you, and it is essential that you take a change of clothes on the airplane for the child and a change of shirt for mom and dad in case anything happens. It's a very long-haul flight. Also, DM me on Facebook. We can chat way more about this personally. It's a, it's a long topic. Um, MET said, first cruise with Carnival Conquest. What do you recommend for people with food allergies? MET, the first day, you need to approach the maitre d' or the head waiter, tell them what your food allergy is. They will present you with special menus to choose for the next day, and they will guide you on how to dine around the ship. Communicate with them. Don't try to wing it. You need to tell someone on your first day. SK on vacay mode said, cruise tips. Oh, Sherry, how was the Panorama inauguration party? Oh, it was so fun. It was phenomenal. Vanna White was such a class act. I had to, I, I, there were so many fun friends to hang out with and see and socialize with that it was really sad and depressing to leave and not get to spend enough time with everyone. I only saw like, you know, 60% of the ship. It was fantastic. Thank you for asking. Captain's Table MDR said, hi, Sherry, would you take a cruise during spring break filled with college kids, even if the price was right or run for the hills? I would run for the hills unless it was a, a cruise that was longer than seven nights. Not my jam. Wendy Ashley said, Hi from Melbourne, Australia. Cruise newbie over here. First cruise on Ovation of the Seas. Do the ships provide breakfast service? I can't see the rest, Mr. Cruise Ships TV. Wendy, I just want to say hello to you. Welcome. And for those of you who obviously everyone is aware of the horrible bushfires and all of the, the loss of animal life and just the tragedy in Australia, we are thinking of all of you, praying for you. We are here for you. And... Um, just wanted to say that really quickly before I answer Wendy's question. She said, do ships provide breakfast service on disembarkation day? Yes, they do provide breakfast. Whether or not they'll give you room service is another question. Usually you have to leave the room to get your breakfast. Some cruise lines will allow it to be delivered to the room. Maureen Ring said, what was the name of the tour in Alaska that had viewing bears? It was the Alaska Rainforest Sanctuary. They've since rebranded, but if you type in Alaska Rainforest Sanctuary in Ketchikan, you'll find it. Alice C. said, going on Harmony of the Seas in 23 days. So excited. Any tips? Yeah, Alice. There are so many Harmony of the Seas friends here tonight. I'm going to give you the same tips. Go to Wonderland. Get a specialty dining package. Have a blast, but don't wear yourself out. It's a big ship. You can't do it all. Nathan Reed, going on first Royal Caribbean cruise in March. Mariner of the Seas, two days in Cocoa Key, one day in Nassau. What do you suggest in Nassau for a reasonable cost? For a son age 10 and a daughter age 19, I recommend... Okay, see, that's the, the reasonable cost part is hard. Blue Lagoon for the day would be my, my pick because I think that 
Atlantis water park tickets, I can't say that those are reasonable. They're fun and wonderful and they're great if you can budget for them, but it's pricey. Um, if you can afford it, do it. If not, go to the Blue Lagoon for the day. Do the excursion. It's fun. Um, Janice Billy said, going on Carnival Cruise in March. Is it true that you get a free bottle of wine when you go to the steakhouse first night? Yep. On most Carnival ships, Janice, that's true. SNK VK Mode said, um, big question, what ports can you fly drones? We'd like to film the beach area. You're going to have to do some independent research on that. We don't take drones when we travel because we are big rule followers and we don't want to deal with having to check it out in every port. So I don't know. And we never take them on a ship. I'm so sorry. Um, but you have to Google it and try to find those maps and you can still get in trouble. So please be careful. Marky Mark said, what's a good excursion in Aruba that you've done before? I've never been to Aruba, Marky Mark. I'm sorry. I would do an ATV or Jeep tour if I went um, that hit a lot of the main spots so I could see the whole island. Crazy Cat Traveler said, did you buy your Target boxes yet? There were two for January. Yes, I just got one. I'm in budget mode. This is the time of year when we're really trying to save and I'm watching my spending, especially on beauty and toiletries because that's how we save for cruises. We don't overspend, right? But yes, I got the one. I'm excited about it. It was only seven bucks and it just got here. I'll do an unboxing on our youtube.com forward slash cruise gear channel soon. Willie B said, we have a balcony on Liberty of the Seas, April 5th. Should we bid on an upgrade? And if yes, how much did you bid? Eh. Maybe, Willie, but I say it just depends. If, you, if you've got a lot of money and you want to do it, I wouldn't bid a huge amount. Balconies are great. I mean, I wouldn't pay more than $100 a person for an upgrade to a junior suite, but that's just me. Karina Sanchez said, we're going on MSC Maravilla soon. Do you have any tips? It will be our first MSC cruise. Yes, Karina. MSC Maravilla is a beautiful ship. Go to the chocolate and coffee shop. Make sure that you go to the dome shows in the Galleria Maravilla. It's beautiful. And specialty dining is wonderful. Um... Yeah, it's great. Maybe invest in a drink package. Awesome ship. You're going to love it. Maureen Ring said, do you have any suggestions for the dining room when you have a large group of friends and family? Yeah, Maureen. Definitely for your group going to Alaska, you need to talk. If you've booked with a travel agent, see if your travel agent has any tips for you for you know getting in touch with their business development manager in advance. Maybe they can help you. If not, go to that head waiter on day one and talk to them about trying to get your group together. Margie Butcher said, what West Coast Princess Cruise is good to take two teenage daughters on? Well, Royal Princess is the newest ship. Um, Princess, during certain weeks of the year, will have a lot of kids and a lot of teens on it. It'll be really fun for them. I'm going to say Royal Princess for you, Margie. I like the sports court. I think there's a lot for families and a lot for teens on that ship. So that would be a really good choice. The teen center is absolutely beautiful too. Um, yeah, Shorty, any tips on long haul flights or traveling abroad alone for the first time in October to Milan? Tons of tips for you, Shorty. We made a three part video series on long haul flights. So please look for that on our channel. But yeah, I think it's, there's so many things we could talk about from packing a change of shirt to downloading things to watch, making sure that you have some snacks on that flight. Um, taking an eye mask to help you sleep is always good for me because I'm really short. I buy a foot sling. They ha we have them in our Amazon store, amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash cruise tips TV. Look for a foot sling. And if you're short, you can rest your feet in it. It's wonderful. Jim Ring is in the house and he says, I'm princess. Since the average age is about 110, are the hot tubs open 24 hours a day? No, Jim, they're not. No, they close them down on every cruise line. I'm sorry. You're so funny. The average age, 110. You're so silly. Mike and Cheryl said, can Wendy try to see if she can get us on the Valentine's Day on Regal Princess? It shows sold out. Does it really show sold out? Is that the vow renewal cruise, Mike and Cheryl? How weird. Yeah. Message me and I'll definitely ask Wendy for you. Are you kidding me? I can text message her for you tonight. Jim Ring said I'm princess since, oh, already got that one. Jake Webb, how early do you start packing for a cruise? Well, Jake, I start packing like a month or two in advance. I set things aside in my closet, but in all reality, you don't need to start that far in advance. I just like to like put a little section of my closet aside and then start putting things in packing cubes because I don't like last minute cruise planning stress. So that's my tip for you. Jayco Booty said, what do you think of specialty coffee on Royal Caribbean? If you're a coffee drinker, it's great. It's wonderful. It's better than the drip stuff that comes out of the machines. So it's good. Stephanie Davis said, is Faster to the Fun worth it? I love Faster to the Fun. Um, I think it's worth it. I like the priority tendering alone and the priority embarkation. Those two things make it worth it for me. Are we actually caught up, Mr. Cruise Tips TV? Wow. I'm just going to take a little breath here for a moment. 
It's so fun to be here with you guys tonight. I lost my chat earlier, so I can't see anything because my computer decided it doesn't like me and my internet connection is wacky. But I wanna pop into the chat if I can get it back. No, it's just definitely gone. Anybody else have any questions? Oh, I see Levin Stitch said, thoughts on Ruby Princess. I've never been on Ruby Princess, but I heard, I've heard i heard that it is a wonderful ship and that you should go for it. Um, I really don't think that you can go wrong with any princess ship. We have been on 10 princess cruises, loved them all. To be quite honest, the older the ship, the more I like it <laughs> with princess. Uh, Mandy said, if you had to pick which ship you and Matt would do a group cruise on, what ship would it be? Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm gonna say, and you're talking about Matt from Royal Caribbean Blog. Wow, Harmony of the Seas, because I think Matt and I both really love that ship, and I think Matt would agree. Melissa Bartell, thank you for this super chat, and I appreciate you being a fan. Nick Gobtop, hi Nick, says, what ship is being built that you are most excited about? Enchanted Princess and Discovery Princess. Very excited, very curious about Mardi Gras, Carnival Mardi Gras. NTTO10 said, any recommendations on solo cruising if you know any good ones? Yeah, I think Norwegian solo cabins and their solo um, lounges are really wonderful. A really wonderful option. BP Blogs, what are some must-do excursions for Labadee and Falmouth? On Labadee, I don't know about, I don't think I would do excursions. I think I would try to find my way into a cabana. Falmouth, Jamaica, I would try to do, um, I'm not sure how far Falmouth is from the Blue Hole, but if I could do the Blue Hole excursion, watch our um, Jamaica vlog, search by videos, type in Jamaica and you'll see it. That'd be what my choice is. Um, yeah, Lauren, Eastern Caribbean's a ton of fun. Emily, for Progresso, I would recommend that you go to the ruins. Um, Progresso is kind of gateway to the ruins. Kenneth Cruz said, what is a good sunscreen for a cruise ship? Kenneth, it's super personal because everybody's skin is really different. We have real sensitive skin in our family. So we use Neutrogena products. I love Neutrogena sunscreen. I think it's really great. Okay. All right. I've never heard Fourth by Fourth Celeste. I've never heard of that cruise company, so I'm just not sure. Okay. Let's see. Kenneth said, what's a good cruise ship to go on in the summer? Cruising to Alaska in the summer is wonderful. That's a good choice, but you can also do the Caribbean in the summer. Tina, the cruising librarian, said, my first princess cruise will be a California coastal in 2021. Is princess solo friendly? I think it is. If you enjoy the princess cruising product, I think you'll make wonderful friends, and I think you should give it a try. Tybo3484 said, favorite thing on Harmony? Love you. Love you, too. My, one of my favorite things on Harmony was definitely Wonderland, the restaurant. What else did I love about Harmony? Um, you know, we like that bar that we went in during the day when it was empty. Dazzles, this really cool space. It's beautiful, has an incredible view. I also really liked Central Park. I loved the carousel on the boardwalk. I gave you more than one answer. Um, Tammy Lucy said, any new must-have cruise gear? I've got some fun things coming for you, Tammy. I'm working on um, looking into a, uh, a new motion sickness product that I want to try to test and get some reviews on before I recommend it to you guys. But other than that, I'm sticking with the classics. Packing cubes, travel pouches are great, magnets are great, Santa hands, um, norovirus wipes, all of them in our store. So yeah. Um, Kaya Pin, Alaska's not as cold as you think. It's not going to be snowy cold, but you should be fine. Margaret Hobbs, my balcony room is on the Lido deck. I don't know if I'll get seasick. Excited you're near the food and pool. Yeah, the higher up you are, the more likely you are to get seasick, but I, w I don't think it's gonna make all the difference in the world. So take your motion sickness remedies. NTTO10 and the Very Lazy Travelers, thank you so much for the super chats. And I love that the Very Lazy, the very lazy Travelers are also going on the Rebel Princess the new princess ship for all the cruise rebels in the house. <laughs> I think there must be either an inside joke going on around here that I'm missing out on, or maybe y'all spell check doesn't want to type regal or royal. I don't know which one it is, but it is really funny. The ocean medallion is the best. You're going to love it. All right, Captain's Table MDR. Sherry, did you end up treating yourself to anything in the Effie store? Yes, I did. Two beautiful products. You can see them in our vlogs. They're gorgeous. Um, earrings and a necklace. Okay, guys, we are getting ready to wrap up here. Um, 
We need to go eat some dinner. As always, when we do these live streams, I fly straight home from work, not fly, I drive, I commute. I freshen up my makeup and we do the live stream and then I need to feed my family. So if I didn't answer your question tonight, um, like I can see Hans has a question here. I'll try to get to that in a moment, but before I do Hans, if I didn't answer your question, go follow the Cruise Tips TV page on Facebook and send me a direct message. Um, those folks that are in the chat here will let you know that I'm very good about getting back to people and I will do my best. Hans, to maximize your time on the flow rider, it's hard because I think we all think we know how we're gonna do. I think you're gonna do great since you're an avid surfer and bodyboarder. I would say follow their instructions. Do what they tell you to do is probably the best thing that you can do. Go at a time when the lines aren't very long and if you know if you biff the first time, just get back in the line and keep going and going. You should be able to do that. There was a lot of times when there was no real lines for the, for the flow rider. Have fun. Linda Stover, do you know what new ships will be in Galveston for the new port? I don't have that off the top of my head. Celeste said, did we swim in the Mediterranean? Definitely not because we were in the Med in March and it was too cold. Sarah said, silly question, but how do I bring hang up items? Can I bring a garment bag? Absolutely, Sarah, you can totally take a garment bag. You can take whatever you want on a cruise in terms of luggage. You can pack like 15 suitcases and they probably would not stop you. Kate Shield said, what can the kids do in the Cloud Nine rooms, Cloud Nine spa rooms on Carnival? They're pretty normal balconies, Kate. So, I mean, nothing really special. The nice thing about Cloud Nine rooms, to be honest, is oftentimes they're close to the pool. That's a perk. Um, Nathan, I don't think the key is worth it on Royal Caribbean personally, but that's a matter of opinion. Just telling you my opinion. Okay, everybody, we got to sign off tonight. I appreciate all of you so much. Thank you for being here. Happy weekend. Happy long weekend to many of you. It is Martin Luther King Day in the United States on Monday. So those of you who got a day off, have a wonderful time. I am working on Monday. Um, but I will be available before and after work and perhaps on my lunch break to answer your questions on Facebook. But thank you all so much for being here. We'll keep you posted on our future videos. Go watch some more videos and please don't leave without hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel. Until next time, we'll see you on the high seas. Cruise around the week. <laughs>